Um, in this video, we're going to solve simultaneous equations with three unknowns or three variables. So here's the question. It says solve the following. x plus y plus z is 6. 2x plus y minus z is 1. 4x minus 3y plus 2z is 4. First thing we do is we're going to label our three equations. We label it a, b, and c. And what we do then is we take two equations at a time. Okay. So we'll take um, a and b first. So a and b. We'll write them out. And what I want to do here is I want to eliminate one unknown. Um, generally, I try and eliminate the z, but um, but like whichever one is handier, you eliminate. Okay. Um, I'm going to eliminate the z here, and I'm going to make another equation. Right. So if you notice here, we have a positive and negative pair already with the plus z and the minus z. So I'm going to add vertically, and this will give me equation d. All right. I have equation a, b, and c. So this one will give me equation d. So adding vertically, x and 2x is 3x, y and y is 2y, z and minus z is nothing, they're gone, and 6 and 1 is 7. So there is my equation d. Next then I'm going to take two other equations over here, and I'm going to use these to form equation e. So equation B and equation C, and it's 2x plus y minus z equals 1, and 4x minus 3y plus 2z equals 4. So again, I'm going to try to eliminate the z here, right? Whatever I eliminated for d, I'm going to have to try and eliminate the same for e, right? So if I eliminated the z using a and b, I'm going to have to eliminate the z using b and c. Um, the first thing I notice though is this is not a positive and negative pair. I have a minus z, but I have a plus 2z on the bottom. So I'm going to multiply the top line by 2. So. I'll redo my b, and that would be 2x multiplied by 2 is 4x plus 2y minus 2z equals 2. And the bottom line will stay the same, 4x minus 3y plus 2z equals 4. Now I have my positive and negative pair. So I can add vertically, and this will give me e. So 4x and 4x is 8x, and 2y and minus 3y is just a plus y, and minus 2z and 2z is nothing they cancel out. I'll add to 0, and that equals 2 and 4, which is 6. And sorry, that should be a minus, because 2y and minus 3y is minus y. So there we go, we have our equation E. So now I'm going to use both D and E to find X and Y. Okay, we're used to using two we're used to using two equations with two unknowns to solve for you know X and Y. So this just this is a uh I suppose a revi revision of what we've done in junior cert really, which is two equations to two unknowns. So here we go, we'll do it over here. So we have equation D and equation E. So we have 3x plus 2y equals 7 and 8x minus y equals 6. Okay, we want our positive and negative pair. I notice I have a 2y on the bottom and a minus y on the, sorry, 2y on the top, minus y on the bottom. So I'll multiply this by 2. So that will give me 3x plus 2y equals 7 on the top, no change, and 16x 
minus 2y equals 12. We'll add vertically. We will get 19x equals 19. So x equals 1. So I'm after solving one of my unknowns. Now I'm going to take one of these, put x back in to solve for y. Um, I take the equation d sure. So d is 3x plus 2y equals 7. I know what x is, it's 1, so 3 1s plus 2y equals 7. So 3 plus 2y equals 7. 2y equals 4, so y equals 2. So now I'm after solving for y. So I have x, and now I have y. And now all I have to do is choose one of these equations. Slot back in x and slot back in y, and I'll find out what z is. Um, I'll choose equation a. And equation a is x plus y plus z equals 6. Throw in what I know then. I know x is 1. I know y is 2. I don't know what z is, but I do know that it adds to 6. So 1 plus 2 is 3, plus z equals 6. So z equals minus 3 from both sides. z is 3. So I have solved those. Okay, thanks guys.